In this short presentation, I'm going to give a brief introduction to the function and structure of gap junctions, also known as nexus or communicating junctions. In order to understand the role of gap junctions in the body, let's take the heart as an example. The heart muscle cells or cardiac myocytes are the contracting cells of the heart. For the heart to function properly, these cells must contract together in unison. For the cell to contract in unison, one cell must pass the signal to the neighboring cell to make them contract. This signal comes in the form of ions that trigger changes in the electric potential of the membrane. So again, what happens is that the heart muscle cell passes ions to the neighboring cells, which passes it to the neighboring cells, and so on and so on. This happens in a very fast pace, so fast that the billions of cells in the heart contract in unison. What allows this fast passage of ions between the cells are the connection between the cells called gap junctions. Gap junctions are a type of cell-cell junction that connect the cytoplasm of two adjacent cells. Its function is to allow passage of small molecules and ions. So to sum this up, gap junctions are a type of connection between cells whose function is to allow passage of small material for various functions, for example, heart muscle contractions. Now let's talk about the structure of gap junctions. Gap junctions are made of two half channels called connexons. So if the gap junction is between two adjacent cells, each cell contributes one connexon to the gap junction. Each of the two connexons is made of six protein subunits called connexin. Each connexon is integrated within the cell membrane and stretches from the cytoplasm to the extracellular space. So to sum this up, the gap junctions between adjacent cells are made of two half channels called connexons, and each connexon is made of six protein subunits called connexin. And the function of gap junctions is to allow passage of small molecules and ions.